All right, folks, I just want to uh, show you guys what I've been doing as far as cleaning brass. Uh, for 20 years, I've been reloading, and I've been using a vibratory uh, corn cob type media, and it does okay, but when you get brass that's really, really grungy, it does not do very well. This brass here is some 30 6 brass that I cleaned in my wet tumbler using the stainless steel media pins. Um, this is what the brass looked like before I tumbled it. A uh, buddy of mine actually gave me this brass because he couldn't get it clean in his uh, dry media vibratory tumbler. So anyway, what I did was, uh, first time, I made a tumbler like this right here with a um, motor that runs a skate wheel via the shaft. I even, even made a little uh, piece on the lathe to run on the skateboard wheel. And the motor turns the, uh, the uh, wheel, and in turn, the wheel would turn the bucket. Well, it worked okay with a very light load of pins, brass, and water. But when I really loaded it down, like my intentions were to start with, the wheel here would, 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 would spin because the motor was turning it, but it would not spin the bucket. Even trying to do it by hand, the, the coax it, it would not work. It would just sit there and spin. The bucket would not turn. All right, here's my second model. And uh, this right here is a gear motor. It's a three-phase gear motor. It's, run, it's set to run at about 85 to 75 RPMs. You can run it slower depending on how many hertz that you put into the motor. This is my VFD. I'm running at 40 hertz into my motor and I'm getting about 60 RPMs. Uh, what I did is this right here is a um, sanding disc backing plate. I had to machine out the 5 8 hole to 3 quarter for the 3 quarter uh, shaft on the motor. Half inch uh, bolts through, there's three of them. Uh, fender washers to help distribute the load on the uh, bottom of the bucket. And uh, one inch um, square tubing. Two skateboard wheels on each side just to support the, the, the front of the bucket. I'm going to turn it on let you see it run. It runs real quiet right now because there's, there's no brass uh, in the carrier bucket. This bucket here that's spinning, it's spinning about one revolution per second. Now maybe a little faster and that seems to work perfect. But this bucket's the carrier bucket. It's not the bucket that has the water pins and uh, brass in it. Okay, let me cut it off here. I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to put uh, my other bucket in it. But before that, let me explain. This is uh, the bucket that has the water, the pins, and the brass in it. This top lid here, it comes in two pieces. From here down is the piece that snaps onto your bucket that stays on your bucket. This piece right here has a ceiling ring up under here and it screws off. So you can gain access to your brass and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to put it in there in my carrier bucket. Turn it on. It's going to be noisy, but I'll let you see it run for a bit. All right. My uh, bucket is in a bucket. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put the camera down, take the bucket out, pop the lid, and show you what's inside. Alright, here we go. I just popped the lid loose. It was on there tight, and I apologize. My, I'm shaking, trying to do this with one hand. Alright, in here I have some Dawn dishwashing liquid. Some of the Lemmy Shine that guys are putting in here as well. It goes in a dishwasher and a machine. And uh, I've got about a gallon and a half of water, five pounds of stainless steel media pins, and uh, probably 250, 300 pieces of brass. There's all kind of different brass in here. But let me dig in here and I'll show you what I got. Man, you look at, look at this. This is just beautiful. Here's some 308 M43 AK. Uh, Rounds in there and some uh, 300 blackout. 
Alright, I'm going to show you what the primer pocket looks like. When you look at that primer pocket, it's just clean as a whistle. Awesome. The pins, for those guys that hadn't seen these yet, here's the stainless steel media pins. They are the right diameter so that they will go through the flash hole in the brass and not get stuck in there. Um, I've been running these uh, my buckets for about an hour to an hour and a half, and it gets them plenty clean. Some of the other videos, guys are running these things for up to four and five hours, and that's just crazy. I think that's just overkill, and it's just wasteful. If your brass gets clean, your primer pockets are clean, uh, what else can you ask for? I mean, I'm not looking for super, super shiny. I just want to get it clean to where uh, the brass don't scratch my dies, and, uh, and, and the primer pockets are clean. Um, like I said, hour, hour and a half is, is all I've been needing to go. This bucket with what I, for, with what with what's in it, the brass, the water, the pins, and the weight of the bucket weighs about 45 pounds. It would have never. This bucket right here was nowhere even a quarter of that weight before it stopped working. So that was my idea. My intentions are to, to do a lot of brass, get it really clean. Hence the direct drive. This machine is direct drive. It ain't, it's not going to slip like this one or like some of the other ones that are uh, on uh, on uh, roller rods in pillar block bearings some of those guys they had to put uh, rubber coating on, on their uh, their shafts to, to make the bucket grip or the or the barrel and this thing here is direct drive it can't slip you can control the speed you can just it's just awesome I couldn't imagine this thing working any better so anyway I'm gonna make a couple more of these I've had some friends express uh, uh, you know wanting one of these so I'm gonna make another couple of them uh, I'm gonna source some more of these gear motors but I just wanted to show you guys what I did and, and the great success that I had I couldn't ask for this thing to work any better I'm just tickled to death catch you folks later